everyone welcome to the video so today i'll be solving question number 455 that says assign cookies it's an easy problem so let's start the question says that we are given a child i who has a grid factor gi okay so the array g here contains three children and each element is repre is representing the grid factor of respective child of respective child okay and this grid factor is basically the minimum size of a cookie that the child will be content with okay and each cookie j has size sj this array contains the size of cookies and each element is a sign of is the size of individual cookie okay we simply have to assign these cookies to these children and we have to assign that cookie by which the child will be content Okay, we have to return the maximum number of children. We are happy. Okay. If I take the lead code example that says that the G array contains elements one, two, and three, and the S array that contains elements one and one. Now, in the G array there are three children, one, two, and three, with their respective grade. And in second array there is there are two cookies with same size of one. Now the question says that the size of cookie has to be greater than or equal to for a child to be happy with it. The size of the cookie has to be greater than or equal to the child's greed for him to be happy with that cookie. So we can clearly see here that only this child will be happy with the cookie because 2 has a grid of 2 so the minimum size of cookie that he'll want will be of size 2 and since this array contains only elements 1 and 1 therefore we can only satisfy one child that is this one and we'll return 1 okay let's take another example now from the previous example it is pretty clear that we have to compare both our arrays we need to compare both our arrays g and s in order to get our desired answer but if we want to compare then it's better if we first sort these arrays it's better if we first sort these both arrays because if we compare element by element then if we compare this child's greed with this cookie there's no use in going from first to second and then third if i simply sort these both arrays so first i will sort these both arrays it will become 1 8 9 and 10 this array is already sorted okay now if i compare now if i compare these both arrays i can see that one is satisfied I can see that 8 won't be satisfied it will get this cookie now they are left and they won't be satisfied isn't it you got my you got the idea behind it I what I did was I sorted both the arrays and compared element by element okay if I compare the first element of the both arrays they are equal therefore it can be it can be a potential answer now he is satisfied let's leave him aside let's move to the next child he wants a cookie with minimum size of 8 5 is not matching his greed so let's move to the next is it matching yes he will get that cookie he is happy leave him aside moving to 9 this child will need a size minimum of 9 but do we have it left we had a size of 9 cookie here but we gave it to child 8 therefore he will be not happy and 10 this child doesn't even have a cookie to compare to therefore only 2 children will be happy our answer will be 2 here so let's code it guys ok so first of all let's make a variable content which will keep track of the number of children that are happy 
and then let's declare variables i and j initialize to zero and let's sort the arrays i'm using the library sort function now while i is less than g dot length and j is less than s dot length if the s of j as in the cookie is greater than or equal to the greed of the child then i will do content plus plus move my pointer forward and move my j pointer forward else if the child is not happy if the cookie is less than his greed then i will simply move the j pointer forward as i have to as the child may not be happy with the current cookie but if our array is in ascending order then there is a possibility that there is a bigger cookie on the next index therefore i'll keep my child constant but i'll move my j pointer forward okay and then i will simply return the answer then i will simply return the content okay so let's test it it works fine let me also test against my custom input that we took in the example i took the gr to be 10 9 8 and 1 and i took the size of cookies to be 1 5 and 9 our answer was 2 right so let's check output 2 see it passes okay so guys thanks for watching that's it for this video hope you liked it please press the like button and comment what you want to see next also please subscribe to my channel and follow me on the socials okay guys take care bye bye